Hello! I'm Tux from GWorks Toys, and I'll be your humble video editor and narrator today as Nono walks you through assembling and installing this lovely upgrade kit for the Legacy Crankcase Transformers figure. This is what will come in your package. It's also available in black. If you add the hubcap option, you'll also get a separate bag with those parts. We'll start off by assembling the blue version of the kit. First things first, snip off the pieces from the sprue. You want to be careful and make sure that you keep all of the parts while you build. Always try and be careful when you're using bladed tools of any kind. Please, please don't do what Nonef is doing. Please always cut away from yourself when you're using a knife to trim off the excess. Do note the little round part that Nonef removes here. You will want to take that off. You can assemble both sides of the cannons like this. The thigh filler parts go in easily like this. Once you have them assembled, you can peg the cannons into the back like this. You can see the range of motion they've got. Let's quickly transform him off camera. Okay, now he's in van mode. As you can see, the cannons have got quite a good range of motion in both van and robot modes. You can even pull them all the way to the front so they resemble the G1 figure in vehicle mode. Next off, we're going to trim off and clean up the wheel parts. Take your time with these small circular parts. It's probably easier to carefully use sharp nippers than it is to use a knife. The front hubcap parts will just plug into the holes on the original figure. The back ones will require you to use the glue dots that come with the kit like this. It's nice and easy, you apply the part to the glue dot while it's still on the film. Then you remove both the part and the glue dot and very carefully stick it over the centre of the hubcap. It should be sticking to the edge of the plastic wheel part, not the metal pin.
And there you have it, that's your upgrade kit installed. Still, since the cannon parts come in both blue and black and you can swap the parts freely between them, it's also possible to assemble your cannons with a mixture of colours. For example, you can have blue cannons on black mounting arms like Nonif is showing us here. And we're done! Well, almost done. I'm sure you'd love a sneak peek of what's coming up next. Now, as Nonif loves to say, nothing has been announced yet. But... how's this? Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the product and or the video, please do like and subscribe if you haven't already. We really look forward to seeing you again for the next release.